Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to our exclusive postseason coverage on MLB Network. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. And Dan, we'll start with you. This series has the feel of one that's about to get very interesting. Looking at these two squads, it's clear both of them have several guys that can hurt you with the bat. It's not just the middle of the order guys that you have to look out for as a pitcher. So the team that gets the timely hitting and quality at bats is probably going to prevail. All right. The stage is set. The starters get their final tosses in out in the bullpen. And we've got a good one in store for you, folks. Play-by-play -play is coming up next. Gallo will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. His matchup numbers with Hendricks. He's got three base hits in 18 at-bats. Here's the first pitch to him. Lined hard to center field. A dive and oh, he can't hang on. That is third. The right field number three. Right. Harper. So a runner at first with one man gone, and that'll bring up Bryce Harper. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Segura leads off first with one away. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Fouled off. The next 0 2. Now a chopper to second. This will be a tough turn. Scooped up. One there. But wisely, no thought of a return throw, and the inning will continue. So that one wasn't quite hit sharply enough to turn two. Yeah, choppers like that make it really tough. You can't make the ball get to you much faster, so the key is making sure you field it cleanly and at least get one, which they did there. So it's a runner at first with two gone, and that brings up JT Realmuto from the stretch. Two out base runner aboard in the top of the first. And it's quickly 0-2. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. And the throw to first ends the inning. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. And now it'll be the Cubs' turn in a scoreless ball game. Aaron Nola gets the call in hostile territory here for game one of the division series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? This will be interesting. This guy won the NL Cy Young Award last year. He's a solid pitcher, man. One of the things he does, he throws the ball into the strike zone, and he's not afraid of contact. Solid pitcher. Javier Baez is in to start things out as he swings and misses at that one at strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. Behind 0 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. Jason Hayward is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. Hey, I'm surprised he went to that spot in his own. This guy's known for being a down and in hitter. Don't expect too many pitches going in that spot. All over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball. Bases are empty, one man out. 
swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Well, at the rate he's going, he's going to strike out 27 on 81 pitches, not throw a single ball, and, and toss a perfect game. Obviously, I'm kidding, but you can't start a game any better than this. Two hitters, two strikeouts, six pitches. This has the makings of a great outing already. First pitch on its way. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0-2. Hey, and the beat goes on. That's number eight. A swing and a ground ball to third. And this gets past him at third as it hugs the line. A fair ball. Around second now and headed for third. And he will make it all the way to third now as that mistake proves a costly one indeed. And that's the chance you take when you lay out for a ball like that. You make the play and you're a hero on the highlight shows. You miss it and you're picking yourself up and chasing after it. Chris Bryant is in with two away as he takes a ball 1-0. and and a strike to even the count. One and one. Bryant just rakes left-handed pitching. There's no real way to dispute that. However, he's not nearly as proficient when facing pitching from the right side. Ready with the one-two. Hard hit ball to second. Segura has it. And they'll escape danger here after the two-out triple as the inning is over. No damage done after the two-out triple. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. All set for the start of the inning. And here's the left-handed hitting shortstop, Didi Gregorius now. Out in front of it, strike one. Half swing here on the pitch inside, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the home plate umpire. Strike two. Filthy change up that time, but he's able to make contact and he'll get another chance. Soft liner towards short, and one gone. Batting fifth, the first baseman, number 17, Reese Hoskins. So one away here with the bases empty, and that'll bring in a perennial MVP candidate for years to come, Reese Hoskins. A swing by Hoskins, and this is driven to deep left, and he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. And with two away now, let's give you a look at the big picture here. There you see the participants in this year's playoffs. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the former National League MVP, Andrew McCutcheon. Oh, what a pitch to start the at-bat there. It's nothing in one. No score here as we play inning number two. Grounded to short. Baez has it. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Phillies down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No. Next to hit will be Wilson Contreras. Set to lead off the home half of the second. Upper part of the strike zone, a dangerous pitch with the changeup, but he laid off. Not the ideal location for a changeup up in the zone, but he got away with it. The 1-1. One, one. Taken, strike two. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an oar. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Not a lot of guys throw that knuckle curve, but some guys have a lot of success with it. Some say it has more bite than the traditional curveball, but I think it's more of a feel thing. It just works for certain pitchers, and it worked right there. Anthony Rizzo comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Grounded to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. 
the second baseman. He said. So bases are empty here with two gone. And standing in now, the power hitting second baseman, Jason Kipnis. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. Rounded weakly to the right side. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. So they go quietly here in this half inning. We've played two full, and we are tied nothing nothing. Stepping up now, Adam Hazley, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Adam. And now pitch on the way. On a line, that's a base hit. Hey, nice A-B right there. With the pitcher coming to the plate, your job is to get on in front of him. This should be interesting. Does he get the bunt sign? Do we play a little billy ball and pull it back and try and play chicklets with the third baseman? See what happens. So now to the plate, Aaron Nola. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Holy smokes. That's the first ball they've taken the entire game so far. They're swinging at everything. The 1 0. Hit in the air to shallow center. And that'll get down for a base hit. The throw into second, and he's safe. Hey, two runners on after back-to-back -back singles right there. They are in prime position to put the first run on the board right here. Into the box, Alec Bone. He grounds it sharply to third. Kipnis on to Rizzo at first, and they get him both. Well, there's the pitcher's best friend right there. The inning was off to a rough start, right? But nothing changes that like a good old two ball. We'll see if they can strand the runner at third now. Gene Segura standing in. One for one after a single this first time up. Has a look. Now the pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Long run for the center fielder. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. One left for Philadelphia. Home half of the third coming up. No score. So that brings up the big bat of Joey Gallo as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Bald strike on the knuckle curve, and he's ahead in the count. Nothing in one. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. Dan, how hard is it to massage your way through such a deep lineup? I mean, even the eight, nine hole hitters are solid big league players. You know, Mark, these days you're not seeing a lot of defensive specialists in the infield or outfield. If you're in that starting lineup these days, there's a pretty good job you can swing the bat. A one pitch on its way. And here's a curveball that just about got away as it misses inside for a ball. Great decision there to pull back. Step number one in getting a sacrifice bunt down. Make sure you bunt a pitch that you can handle. The bunt attempt is popped up. Here's Javier Baez looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. No balls and a strike to count. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing, our score. And there's a line drive, base hit to left field. A lot of traffic hitting the base pass, first and second with one out. I know you're looking for a double play ball, Dan. No question about it. I think one of the things you like to do on a pitcher is try to jump on him early before he gets settled in. So far, so good. First and second, looks like a big inning could be brewing. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. The 1 2.
Easy take there as the off-speed pitch misses well inside. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order. Smoke the other way. High and deep to left. McCutcheon has to range back a ways, but he makes the catch in front of the Ivy for out number two. The center fielder, number eight. And that will bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. He found his way over to third via a triple in his first at bat. The 0 1 pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Happ, the switch hitter that stands in at an even six feet. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Cubs strand a couple. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. set for the start of the fourth and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder Bryce Harper this game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score you'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in but that hasn't been the case boy dear it's about time they got something brewing here first pitch single and maybe now they can start to get some traffic on the bases yeah absolutely Dan ambush tactics not always the play you want to drive that pitch count up and get into that bullpen but sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. on the first and it's a double play the second they've hit into in these first four innings and there are two away now the batter the book though Two are gone in the Philly fourth. And that'll bring up Didi Gregorius. First pitch on its way. Hit out towards second. Kipnis ranging to his right. Off balance throw. Gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. Phillies go down quietly. Bottom of the inning now. And into bat next, former National League MVP Chris Bryant. In there for strike one. Oh, yeah. And it's fouled away. And he struck him out. So with that, let's call on the guys in the graphics department to put up the pitch speed comparison for the two starters. And you can see a pretty good differential there with one starter topping out at 94 and the other a fairly pedestrian 89. Wilson Contreras will stand in for the second time as he watches one miss low. It's a ball and no strikes. But taken in over at first for the second out as that might have been extra bases if it were three feet higher. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Oh, and he's finding his groove out there now. It's 0 and 2. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. Hit hard back up the middle. And that's going to be a base hit for Rizzo. And Jason Kipnis up next will bat this inning. He had him on the ropes right there. Count leverage, two strikes against the batter. He's going to have to put that in the memory bank because that guy made a nice two-strike approach right there. Made a nice two-strike adjustment. And is the second baseman, Jason Kipnis, as he can't catch up on a fastball at the letters, and it's strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Hit in the air out to center field. Hazley is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Cubs strand one through four. Still tied. Nothing, nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, I talked with Philadelphia's manager during the break about the Phillies' offensive production to this point. And he mentioned they need to show a lot more patience with their at-bats moving forward. Over 90% of their at-bats have started with a swing on the first pitch. And given their lack of run production, that approach clearly isn't working. He said adjustment number one has to be to allow the at-bats to develop and look for good pitches to hit in deeper counts where they will hopefully have more of an advantage over the pitcher. All right. Thanks, Heidi. The 
wind up and the 0 1. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0 and 2. Woo! That was ugly. Howdy, if you're waving at me. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. That's not an at bat he or his hitting coach are going to be happy with at all. It's bad enough to go down on three pitches, but none of them were even in the strike zone. That's a bad look. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now, as he'll get out ahead of a changeup and swing through it for strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Now here's the pitch. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0 and 2. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of the spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. Swing and a miss on the breaking pitch, two away. Six pitches, two strikeouts in the inning. Hard to beat that, and beyond that, he has to feel good about the way the curveball is coming out of his hand. That was a nasty-looking pitch. In now, Adam Hazley. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. 0 and 1 count and the pitch. Mm, chased out of the zone there and he's down two strikes. No runs, four hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Weak grounder down the first baseline, but this will wind up foul, still 0 and 2. I'm shocked he was even able to foul that one away. Now he's got to set his sights back over the heart of the plate and maybe be ready for something inside. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Gallo will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Halfway home, still no score. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cubs to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game, which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results. Until they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. Thank you, Heidi. Softly hit toward the hole. Hoskins gathers it in. And quickly, there's one down to lead off the frame. Now the pitcher, Kyle so the base is empty here with one away and the pitcher Kyle Hendricks will be the next to bat hey. and here's a fastball called for strike one hits are now even at four apiece this is foul right side. Struck him out, so he's set down on strikes for the second time today. The next hub up, that Javier Baez. A hit and two shot. tries for him so far. In there, no Ball balls and a strike. In there, and it's 0-2 now. Yeah, if he's going to pound the zone with this stuff all game, the offense better step up. Somebody's going to have to pull a trigger a little bit earlier in the count. No runs, four hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. The next 0 2 misses, and that'll move it to 1 and 2 now. Talk about frustrating as a pitcher. You make a great pitch like that, and the guy just lays off of it. That barely missed the zone. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Hey guys, this, he's not known for being a singles hitter right here, but that's his second knock of the game. And I'm sure he'll take him, but the guys on the other side of the scorecard might be thinking we really avoided a worse fate. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. Line drive to center field. Hazley is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. One left for the Cubs. Sixth inning coming up, still zip, zip. New inning set to get underway, and it'll be the pitcher up next, Aaron Nola. Aaron Nola. First pitch of the at-bat. Strike one to start the at-bat. Strike 
Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Swing and a miss, and he's in control 0 and 2. Hit the other way out toward right field. Hayward has a read on it. One out. Now that third base. Alex. Standing in, Alec Bohm. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Oh, just a miserable effort there. It's 0-1. Rock solid performance up to this part of the ballgame right now. One of the keys, 90% of his first pitches have been for strikes. And when you do that, you really make the hitter swing at the pitch you want them to swing at. Oh, man, you can't hit a ball any harder than that. I mean, this ball gets on him in a heartbeat. Nice job to stay with it, though, and then make the out at first. At the plate, Gene Segura, one for two with a base hit back in the first inning of play. Now the pitch. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that's just shy of the baskets and off the ivy. The relay, not in time, and he's in there with a double. I'll tell you, that's one of the first good swings we've seen anybody put on this guy so far. He's been throwing the ball really well, but that was one of the few mistakes we've seen him make. Bryce Harper will dig in at the plate as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. He's one for two in this one. A bouncer up the middle. There's Baez. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Danger averted following the two-out double. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring up the former first rounder in Pittsburgh area native Ian Half. In there, strike one. Half with a swing, and he connects, sends this one to deep right field. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. A solo home run here off the bat of Ian Happ. His first homer here in the series, and they've taken a one-run lead. And we'll employ the use of our show track technology to get a better idea of that home run. And you see it there, 111 miles an hour off the bat. He certainly squared that one up well. Digging in next will be Chris Bryant. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. No balls in one strike. The windup and the 0-1. And there's a base hit on the line. That's what we refer to in the biz as a hanger right there. He's lucky he's getting his baseball back. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. 0-1 the count. A lot of movement that time. It's 0-2. He hasn't thrown that pitch much all game. I got to believe as an offense, you just got to throw that pitch away and move on to the next one. 2-2 two and two to the Cubs catcher. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. 
And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. That was some nice execution on that pitch. Spotted it nicely down around the bottom of the zone. And when you do that, especially with two strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. And that'll bring Anthony Rizzo to the plate. Strike one to start the at-bat. Runners on first with one down. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Ooh, and heads up as this is pulled foul. A ball and two strikes to Anthony Rizzo. Hard hit to first. Hoskins grabs it cleanly. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. The sights and sounds of a day at the ballpark. Oh, my goodness. On to the back third here this afternoon, and we'll have it for you next on MLB Network. Ready for another chance? JT Real Muto. He'll start the seventh, and Dan, as a former pitcher yourself, you must be enjoying this. Lots of good pitching and defense today. Oh, that's one of the keys. We're seeing a lot of strikes. We're seeing a lot of swings. We're seeing some great plays on defense. This has been a snappy one up to this point. 0-1, here it comes. This is line to left. Gallo is there, and he'll bring this one in. Boy, talk about hitting into some rough luck. That was an absolute bullet to the outfield that gets caught, and he would have represented a tying run. One gone in the inning now, and here's Didi Gregorius. First pitch on its way. Out of play off to the right. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. The seventh inning is one of those innings when you might start seeing some warning signs from your starters that they're reaching the end of their rope, but that's not the case here. He looks really solid to me. Smoke the other way, high and deep to left. Ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. The first pitch, the first Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. Now here's the pitch. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Phillies down in order. They still trail 1-0. Last half of the seventh here, and that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, Jason Kipnis. First pitch of the at-bat. Laid off the bender there, but it's in for a called strike. What a performance so far. Throwing first pitch strikes to 90% of the batters. It's hard to get any better than that. And there's one away. Now batter. No Here's Joey Gallo now. He's one for two in the ball game. Taken off the outside as the breaking ball couldn't catch the corner. Perhaps a little low there. It's 2-0. This at bat sets up really good right here, right? Hasn't seen a fastball yet, but now he gets to count at two balls and no strikes. He has to be looking for a fastball right here. Three and one to the Cubs left fielder. There's ball four. Now that. So in now for Chicago, Kyle Hendricks. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned a chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. Only plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. Looking to keep this a one-run game to pitch. Javier Baez is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. 
That elevated fastball right there. That is the biggest change in the game today. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Cubs strand one, but they're up one to nothing. So the next hitter to dig in will be Andrew McCutcheon. He went down on strikes last time up. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Soft grounder left side. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Now batter. Very tight ball game so far. One nothing the score as we take a look at our starter comparison, and both guys have given excellent performances to this point. Here's the first pitch to him. Adam Hazley is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing and one. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. One out, nobody on. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. Man, this dude is locked in on the mound. He's throwing each pitch with confidence. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Hayward giving chase. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Scott Kingery will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Number four, Scott Kingery. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And a big sigh of relief on the mound as that nearly tied it, but this ball is foul. Two out, nobody on. Hit down the third baseline, but that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Now a ball line softly down the left field line, but foul. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And Kipnis will put this one away, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Jose Alvarado is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. First pitch coming, here it is. Jason Hayward stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. Alvarado is a guy known for his lights out stuff. He tends to rack up strikeout numbers at a very high rate. However, he does at times get wild. Walks have come back to bite him on more than one occasion. You know, it's not uncommon, Matty V, for a relief pitcher to come in with really good stuff. And it seems like he's either really hit and miss. He'll rack up a lot of strikeouts, but if he's not quite on, he'll also rack up a lot of base on balls. And that can cause a pitching coach and a manager to really start to pull their hair out. And he takes a cold strike one. One and two. That's not a pitch he misses very often. He knows he should have done something with that one. Ready with the one and two. Swinging a soft liner. Ah, it's flagged down deep in the hole. A flip from short right gets him, and there are two away. Good range shown off into the hole right there. That's not an easy play, but these guys make it look that way sometimes. Here's Chris Bryant now. It was a single for him in his last at bat. Fastball on the first pitch, and it's taken for strike one. A great job pounding his own strike one. When you got a great hitter in the box, you got to get ahead. Count leverage is a must. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Three up, three down for the Cubs, but they're on top, one to nothing. Now 
Now in the box, Alec Bohm. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Maddie, and it looked like a sinker in his last AB that got him to roll over. Kind of similar situation right here. Similar stuff on the mound. Look for them to try and get him to do exactly the same thing as his last AB. He's got to fight to get it elevated just a little bit more. Here comes the Chicago skipper now up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And it would appear he's seen enough of his starter this afternoon. So he'll depart with the lead and a chance to be the winner, but he is responsible for the tying run at first. And he fouls this one off. They'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. In the dirt, but it's swung on for the third strike. Really important time for a strikeout there, guys. Tying run at first, so objective number one is stranding him on base. And now with one out, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that run. Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The 0 1 pitch. Grounded back up the middle. Kipnis has it. A step on the back for one. Back to first. It's a double play. Right when he needed it. And this ball game is over. Wow. That game flew by, but that's what happens when you get a well pitched one run game. Both hurlers battle. And it's almost a shame somebody had to lose this one. Time for one final check of the line score as you see the key players there in this shutout victory. Well, heroes are made in the postseason, and he was at least the hero in this one. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, no time like the postseason to come through and lift your team to victory. He was certainly a big factor here, and it was pretty cool to see.